Number 15. Sirens. If a siren tells you to jump, don't listen. Shared on Instagram. This is a captivating video of what may be mermaids or sirens at sea. We got another one, another one over here. What are those? On either side of the boat, creatures appear to be keeping up with the ship's pace. They're large enough creatures to create a wake in the water surface, and then they start to sing. I hear him. Where's he at? What the f is that noise, bro? What is that noise? While I originally thought these may be mermaids, I now think they are more likely to be sirens. Sirens are known to sing to lure seamen into the water to their peril. This next bit solidifies that theory. That's crazy. That's The siren is telling him to jump. Let's hope that he has enough sense not to listen. Number 14. Mythical Pub Creature Security footage captured at a bar in Singapore may have caught a mythical creature on camera. TikToker Unpopular Notes shares this creepy footage. As two men are ordering from a menu at the bar, they don't notice one of the stools beside them rocking back and forth. The fall alerts them, and as they're wondering what happened, a small unknown creature rushes past behind them, hiding in the next room. What is this thing? Did this creature cause the bar stool to fall? The creature doesn't have any distinguishable features. The camera quality, distance, and low lighting makes for a true mystery. The only thing I can tell is the creature looks pale white, is standing upright, and looks slightly humanoid. Some in the comments have interesting theories as to what it might be. I've never heard of a toy owl before, but it seems like our most likely suspect to me. Number 13. Not a kite. Is this a kite or an extraterrestrial octopus? TikToker Untold News UK shares this video of an inky black extraterrestrial form in a clear blue sky. It's an alien invasion, y'all. It's a alien invasion, man. It was fun. It was nice knowing y'all. The TikToker seems to think this video is proof that it's not a kite, but others have their theories. It's an alien invasion, y'all. It's a f alien invasion, man. It was fun. It was nice knowing y'all. I think it's none of these things, but I haven't ruled out a kite either. It's an alien invasion, y'all. It's a f alien invasion, man. It was fun. It was nice knowing y'all. Neither have I ruled out extraterrestrials. Number 12. Possession. What has come over this police commander? A medical emergency or a possession? YouTuber Ricky Velasquez shares this video. <laughs> The commander is seen on the ground, surrounded by fellow officers. According to the footage, the officer fainted and then began to make strange noises. One of the crew suggested they immediately start an exorcism, as he seemed to be possessed by a demon. 
y comenzó a emitir voces y ruidos extraños. Nadie sabía qué hacer hasta que alguien de los presentes dijo que debían iniciar un exorcismo de inmediato. And this abandoned house may be the culprit. De los presentes dijo que debían iniciar un exorcismo de inmediato. According to Ricky Velasquez, satanic rituals have been performed in this house. Something may have attached itself to the police commander while on active duty there. It looks to me like that's exactly what happened. It's unclear whether or not the exorcism worked, but I hope he was saved before it was too late. Number 11. Door opens. Redditor OK Lifeguard 2014 had experienced some weird stuff in their home, so they reviewed their security cameras. That's when they caught this. If you zoom in, you can see the door handle actually moves. The Redditor claims there's mist covering the handle before it opens, but I think this video is too low res to see that. Some in the comments think it could be airflow. Others are more concerned about this house's potential mouse problem. Keep an eye under the dishwasher. If it were up to me, I'd cover all the bases. Step 1. Douse the house in holy water. Step 2. Get a cat. Number 10. Cecil Hotel Ghosts. What would you do if you lived directly across from one of the most haunted places in America? I'd probably move. Pete Monzingo hasn't, yet. He lives across the street from the haunted Cecil Hotel, and he thinks some ghosts have migrated over to his apartment. He contacted YouTuber and psychic Kelsey Davies to investigate, as Pete is telling Kelsey and Drew about some anomaly that happened to his video footage. A man's voice is heard. My whole footage uh, from the entire trip, the hard drive corrupted. Not only the hard drive, but um, both SD cards from two different cameras, everything. And so then I ended up having to pay like, like six or seven thousand dollars to get the footage back. And I. Wow. The strange moan coincides with the REM pod being triggered briefly. I spent so much back in the days. Whose voice is it? Is it merely a coincidence? Later, during an Estee session, Drew asks a pointed question, and the spirit responds via REM pod. Are you upset that we're here? No. no. What is This is proof enough to me that something has indeed crossed over, and it doesn't want them there. Number 9. Selena Murder Hotel. The queen of Tejano music, Selena Quintanilla, was murdered by the president of her fan club. YouTuber James Spencer spends the night at the hotel in which her life was taken, and his investigation turns up too much activity to be denied. Hi, are you able to make the ponies move? You made the cat ball move, didn't you? You made it move. To light it up. Oh, oh look at that. You got the pony going. There are subtle noises in the room, and James thinks it's Selena's spirit. I keep getting this from you over here. Are you in here? Can you peek out and see? Are you in here? Again, the devices are triggered. Let me ask her. So when you, oh my, did you see that? Yeah. Same time. As he's trying to ask Selena a serious question, the devices go crazy. <laughs> Selena, do you want her? Okay, I'm like not even, I'm not even able to ask. Look at her, she's just, yeah. She, I'm not even able to ask. This seems to suggest that Selena wants her former fan club president and murderer, Yolanda Salvidar, to stay in prison. I 100% back Selena on this one. Number 8. 
Haunted Hearst Graveyard YouTuber Carlitos Way TV is revisiting the Hearst family graveyard. He heard footsteps on his first visit to this haunted place. Let's see what he encounters this time. Right there, same spot where they have the light on right now is where I heard those footsteps at. I'm already getting a cold chill right now coming through here and talking to you guys. At one spot in the graveyard, Carlos's camera keeps blurring. Okay, so this spot over here is getting blurry. And I was told that when your camera gets blurry, usually this is spirit activity. Because th this camera has a quick auto refresh rate. As he continues his tour of the place, Carlos senses some movement. You're more than welcome to speak to the camera. Sound like something was moving over there. And that was the area where Al just came from. He meets up with Al, and in the background of their conversation, you can hear a faint roar of terror. Listen closely. Probably been, it could have been the wind chimes. I don't know, bro. It sounded like them. Did you hear it? The wind chimes. I don't know, bro. The guys don't seem to hear it in the moment, nor is it noted in the footage. Am I just hearing things? The wind chimes. I don't, know, I don't think so. That is pretty strange to me. It sounded like one of the Hursts didn't end up on the good side. Number 7. Light rings doorbell. A very strange light appears to ring the doorbell at 4 a.m. and Redditor Riley Jose 11 shares the footage. This woke the resident up. Would you answer? It looks to me like the light in and of itself could be a bug or spider web, but the ringing of the bell seems like evidence that it's not. A security tech in the comments offers some insights. I'm going to agree with the Redditor's expertise and say this one's a web. It looks very much like one to me. Then again, the doorbell ringing in response is bizarre. So I'm leaning towards saying this is a ghost. Number 6. Marilyn Monroe's Haunted Mirror Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, California is supposedly haunted by celebrities. YouTube team Barrier Beyond investigates the hall's many treasures, including this haunted mirror said to show Marilyn Monroe. Dude, get the f out of here. No, no, no. Dude. What the Could Marilyn be any clearer? I think not. Dude, get the f out of here. No, no, no. Dude. What the? She is pretty adamant that she's here, and if I were this crew, I'd spend the rest of the day peering into the mirror to catch a glimpse of the iconic celebrity. Number 5 Gin Smoke. While exploring a creepy cave, YouTuber Mo Sarji and his team come across evidence that a real djinn was here, and maybe still is. This place is so weird. Oh, no, there's a hole there. I see that. There's a, literally a hole up there. But, like, what's down this way over here? Oh. That was the fucking ball. The ball. That was the ball that was just up there. A ball is thrown their way by an invisible force, and instead of running away from it, they run toward it. They find nothing and decide not to play ball. There's no one here. Hello? What the heck? You know what? Screw you, ball. Still, they continue on, and that's when they find this. Wait, 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 what is that? Bro, I don't know what that is. Wait, what the f is that? I'm scared right now. Bro, that looks like poison gas. Yo, yo, Literally. Should we, should we go? Wait, what if it's a Jin? Bro, Bro Jin, it might be, it might Jin's be. are black. A little later, now on his own, Mo finds himself in the dark. <gasps> oh. God! God! I like you.
The lights go out in a cave with a gnome gin. I think at this point, I'd resort to curling up in a ball on the ground until it's all over because I think he's about to become gin food. Number 4. Haunted Room How can a light flash without a bulb? The YouTube team SS3 Paranormal asks their viewers if they can explain this. This goes on for over a minute. Another video captured a strange noise in the room as well. There are no theories in the comments as to what the flashing could be. I have no technical theories either. Because it coincides with communication with the spirits, I'm leaning towards the paranormal. But if viewers have another explanation, please share it in the comments. Number 3 face beside you. This spirit is photobombing your selfie. Shared by YouTuber Zona Paranormal Veracruz, a woman is taking a cat-eared selfie when another cat shows up beside her. Is this filter detecting a spirit, or does it simply think the headboard is a face? It looks to me like that's exactly what's happening here. The nose and mouth-like knob of the headboard may have confused the app, so I guess even technology experiences pareidolia. Number 2. Crab Walker Have you ever seen a skull-faced demon do the crab walk? Well, if not, you're in luck here. Shared by the YouTube channel Cold TV, I came across this image in the Vietnamese speaking YouTube community. It was the thumbnail to a list video, but in the list, there was no video associated with the image. I tried to track down the original or a source but was unsuccessful. The only conclusion I can draw is that they sourced this image directly from my nightmares. Do you have an idea where this could be from? If you know its source, drop your knowledge in the comments so we can erase this image from our mental hard drives. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Moss Gnome is this a gnome or a curious growth of moss? TikToker Do You Believe Too shares this crazy video of what appears unusually like a gnome hanging on a tree branch. A little moss gnome right there. <laughs> there he is. He's like hanging onto the branch. Oh my, did it just move? It just moved its head, looked at me, didn't it? I don't think it moved. It seems as still as before, but I could see how your mind might play tricks on you while standing next to this. Oh my gosh. There's its face right there. Look at his face. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Alright, I don't want to bother him or scare him. Look at that. It really does look like it has a face too, and it's scowling. Holy cow, you guys. He's looking right at me. It's okay. It's okay, dude. I'm gonna let him go. While I would like to believe that this is a real life gnome, its stillness convinces me that it's an insane moss growth. Either that or it's a petrified gnome. An evil forest witch put a spell on him, which can only be broken by watching these 15 scary videos unleashing pure frights. Ring isn't just for security. The technology has also been known to capture some of the creepiest and most downright terrifying things known to man. These are 30 scary videos recorded by Ring doorbell camera. 